What's up, church family? Hi. Hope y'all doing good. Hope your weekend's good. Was good. Hope your Monday's starting off right for this brand new week the Lord's gave us. Brand new day, anyway, heading into a good week. God willing, we make it all the way to the end. Amen? Amen. Uh, I got my wife on tonight because I wanted her to go over a few things with us and run and let her run point on this and uh we're calling this words hold weight words hold weight we're going to be in matthew chapter 22 verses 37 through 39 no excuse me 37 through 40 so i'll give you a few seconds to get there get your bibles out get your apps out whatever you use to there's plenty of stuff out here. God's got us handled on, on all on books and Google and apps. And so I'll let you get there real quick. And uh, we'll get going. We'll pray in real quick and uh, we'll get started. Father God, thank you for this channel. Thank you for the viewers on this channel. Thank you for you. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your grace and your mercy and your provisions, Father God. Thank you for the Holy Scriptures. Thank you for our weapons and tools, Father God. Thank you for showing us how to bring you glory, Father God. Please let what we're about to say be what you want us to say, not what we want to say, and hide us behind the cross when we do so. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 through 40. Jesus replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. The entire law and all the demands of the prophets are based on these two commandments. Amen. Amen. Um, so... <clears throat> Does negative talk hinder those that mission given to us by Jesus to love God with all of our hearts and to love others as we love ourselves? Are you negative talking today? Have you been negative talking yourself? Or negative talking to others? Or taking negative talking in? Mm -hmm. um, because that's a pretty good scheme from the enemy right there if he can tackle home base here um, and just you know rather it be through through a, a random friend at work um, a memory you know you might have smelt uh, I don't know cut grass um, something burning a certain smell one of our five senses if the enemy can get you going on one of your five senses on something is it is it you know creating old memories maybe bad memories that that want to make us think bad thoughts or, or think bad of ourselves or you know unforgivable things that that we might think that are unforgivable um because if if he can do that then he ain't really got to do much else to us through the day you know what i mean right. we'll be kicking our own butts through the day mm -hmm. once he once he can get us to react one of those five senses he's pretty much just sitting back and twirling his thumbs you know and letting us do the rest of the work for the day he's stealing our joy he's stealing our joy that's what that does he's, he's stealing our joy so if we're walking around we're supposed to be God's children so we're blessed highly favored graced we've been we have uh, mercy we have I mean we're children of the, of the creator of the universe so there ain't really too much we could be, we should be even negative talking ourselves about, you know. Uh, we should be getting in these scriptures right here. And, and we've got promise after promise, blessing after blessing of God's righteousness poured on us, poured into mm -hmm. us. And, and Jesus is what makes us righteous. Mm -hmm. So we need to constantly remind ourselves of that and tell ourselves, I am a son of God. She is a daughter of God. Mm -hmm. And if we're going through those, those, you know, we might have had a phone call or something. We might have seen a movie or heard a song or something. 
And we take those thoughts captive. We take those emotions, something that can get in, get us into our emotions. We don't live from our emotions. We live from the finished works of the cross. So negative talk is is because our words, they don't fall on the ground. When they come out of our mouth, even about ourselves, uh, they do not just fall on the ground and go nowhere. They go places and or open a door in your mouth gate for things of the enemy. His little minions can come in there through that doorway and, and start causing a ruck, start causing depression, anxiety, mm -hmm. stress, and all their cousins, you know what I mean? And, and all them guys can come in there and play and, and mess around with your mind. And we already have a hard enough time fighting our flesh, so we don't need no added flavor to this, you know? So let's keep those doors shut, those eye gates, mouth gates, and ear gates. And because that's going to help us with negative talk too. And, and, and Help us with positive, you know, help us with positivity instead of negativity. Yes. You know, and when we get focused on our mess ups, the diagnoses that doctors give us of mental problems that we have or get down about ourselves on how we look, that totally takes all of our focus off of God and off of others. And it really puts it on ourselves, on me. Yeah, it becomes like a me, myself, and I thing. And what is that? Unholy. Right. That's the unholy trinity. That's right. Me, myself, and I. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a little, it's a, it's, it's a scheme. You know, devil's no punk. He's pretty crafty at this stuff. So, if he can get us focused on ourselves rather than focusing focusing on God and, and and being there for others, loving others. I mean, job well done by the devil. You know what I mean? And by like, Satan. I mean, it's. That's what he's, that's, he's here to steal, kill, and destroy. So if he can take your joy in any way, if he can get you talking bad about yourself to where it's, I mean, so much bad about yourself, you're talking bad about everybody else, you're mm -hmm. gossiping, you're death talking. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, you know, hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. So. It goes like hand in hand. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's so crucial. It's so, but yet, so overlooked some of us just think this is where we are this is uh this is that this is, is what it is no it's not what it is because jesus went to the cross and said otherwise we are free free indeed mm -hmm. so if we ever feel like we're might be jammed up or talking negative or just being rough on ourselves or our spouse or our children or just it's time to time to take a whoa pump the brakes you know and, and do some self-evaluation and and you know, hit some repentance, some deliverance up, hit some um, getting this word, you know. Remind yourself who you are, who you belong to. Don't let your flesh, because half of us, you know, half half of our bodies are, are, are a flesh, fleshly, carny nature, and they want to they do everything Satan wants to do. Yeah. And we got to point at ourselves, and that's the part we got to die to self. We get up in these scriptures and we pray and we praise, say hallelujah, turn some gospel music on every day, every day. And it, 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 that's putting your armor on. You want to have a strong mind for when you go out here in the world, you won't start negative talking to yourself or negative talking to others or, or accepting ne negative talk. You know, because that, once that doorway opens, then, then, then little demons can come in there and just cause a ruckus. And it might be a week later then you blow your gasket you know what I mean then you have to like then you're in a much bigger mess you know you might have to say sorry to everybody you might you might lose a friend people blocking you or something just by being harder on yourself just by letting letting your flesh maybe convince you otherwise or those flaming darts those flaming arrows that come from the enemy and lost souls out there that, that want to get you, you know, he, he wants to use whoever he can. He's a person without a body. And he's in all the lost out there. If they ain't in Jesus Christ, they belong to him, man. Mm -hmm. So be careful with people like that. Don't let that negative creep into you. It's like a snake bite. Mm -hmm. They try to bite you, you know, they'll, they'll bite you, and then that, that venom gets in you, and then, and then you're talking like them, you know. We don't we don't conform to the world. Yeah. We are not them. We are, mm -mm. That's, that's Satan's children, we're God's children. So remember that, keep telling yourself that. When you're especially out of work and, and you know, you might have a friend out there that, that might have mouthed you or something and 
you took it wrong and then it led you know up into lunch break and then you still beefing on it and then like after work you had a flat tire and like ah uh, and then and then you go downtown you might have broke down or something for a minute got it back going got back home you stepped on all the toys coming inside you might have slipped and broke you know twisted your ankle a little bit your wife's cooking food and then about that time man i mean like one thing after another because you ain't, you know, faith without works is dead. So if you ain't staying in repentance and staying, staying, reminding yourself, I'm a child of God, well, well, that that you've created a doorway for some for, for the enemy to come in, a demon to come in, and about that time, it, when you come in the house and twist your ankle and stuff, you've already been through, you know, eight, ten things off of one little negative talker that morning. You know what I mean? And then when you get home. You might got get in the shower, might slip and hit your knee or something. But you ain't even made it to dinner yet. And before you ever make it to dinner, you blow your top, man. That's what the enemy's trying to do to us. Mm -hmm. Just by these small little micromanaged words about ourselves and about people might say to us or something. Mm -mm. And letting that mill over and over and over in your head, it can even become you can even become resentful towards God. Like he made a mistake. Like yeah. He didn't make you. Like, he was wrong. Like, he was wrong on everything yeah. he did about you. Bro, he's the creator of the universe. Don't go that route. Yeah. Don't go that route. Yeah. He ain't make no mistakes. Mm -mm. He loves you. He created you. He has a purpose for you. Know that. Get in these scriptures, man. Get in these scriptures. Yes. Please. Yes. Please. I'm still finding out things that mm -hmm. dad, I call him dad. I never had my earth dead down here, and he lets me do that, and I can do that. If you're, if you're, if I, mean, I don't take that from nobody, but I, I say dad. But there's still things in here that I'm learning from the, the, that my father, my daddy, because of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He shared his dad with me, and there's still things I'm reading in the scriptures that that are for me, that are like waiting on me. That that's been here this whole time. I'm still. I'm three years in. I've read a lot of this. And I'm still reading a lot of this, and I, it'll never. It, I, I just, I just got that feeling. It'll never quit. That that on pouring and that in that that. Every time I open this book, it opens me up. Every time I read it, it reads me more. Oh, that's good. So it just it's it's. That's that relationship. You get that relationship. Man, you gonna be so joyful. You ain't got time to speak a negative word about yourself. I mean, it's, it's called 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come to stay. When you start doing this, you'll start seeing that transformation. It's like, man, I'm not a turd. I'm not a butthead. I'm not a piece of crap. I'm a son of God. I'm awesome. God loves me. Like, Jesus came for me. I mean, you start you start reading this. But if, if you don't read this every day, the world sucks like a vacuum, bro. Out there in the world one week without reading this, you're back in the world. You're back You're back in Satan's grips. Because he is the ruler of this world, okay? And he, he would love nothing better for you to just walk around and kick your own butt, dude. Right. right. And he's the father of lies. The Bible lets us know in John chapter 8, verse 44, that Satan is the father of lies. And also lets us know in 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 4 that everything God creates is good. Everything Amen. God creates is good. And 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 5 tells us that we are to take all of our thoughts captive and make them obedient to Christ. What's that look like? What's that look like to me? That means if... if we all have the random thoughts that come through just like where did that come from well it's, it's from our it's from shaking hands with the devil in our flesh many years ago before we ever came to christ when we have to second corinthians five seventeen. we have to the old is out and the new is in okay so we have to train our minds in this word to start thinking positive about ourselves because we've shook hands with with satan a long time ago and and we had fun and we, we did his stuff and like we were in the world. We made memories with this butthead. So anytime the memories might flood back and he might, you know, your flesh might like, hey, remember this? And you just jump up in that mind. I jump up in my mind like, hey, 
I command any demonic power in my mind right now, creating any thoughts to come up and out immediately and go straight to the abyss. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen. And you can feel it right there. But, I mean, I say that, I mean, I say it off my tongue sometimes too, but I'll, I'll make my mind say that, you know what I mean? I'll jump in there and just be, hey, mm -mm, out. Well, I feel like it ain't from Holy Spirit. You have no place in my mind, dude. Right. And flesh, you're going to obey. You're going to obey. You spent 38 years, me personally, I spent 38 years doing it the Satan's way. And we're not doing it that way no more. I was a negative talker, a thief, a liar, all the, the opposites of the fruits of the Spirit. I was all of that. Now I have fruits of Holy Spirit in me and I, and I peace, love, patience. Joy. Am I the best at it? No, I never will be. But I'm way better off than I was in that guy. So, praise God. <clears throat> and that's, yeah, we're supposed to take those thoughts captive. And, you know, Jesus fought the devil with Scripture. So that's what we get in the Bible. We don't, the power, Proverbs 18.21 tells us that the power of life and death is in the tongue. And those who love it are going to eat the fruit of it. So what we say, we indulge in. We speak life over ourselves in our minds and off of our off of our lips. For instance, I want to use a song, for instance, because it's one of my go-to songs. Not go-to, but like an example to use. Um, there's a song called I'm a Loser by Beck. One of the courses, Beck, a rock, a rock musician, okay, that we grew up listening to in high school and everything else. But the, the main lyrics in it is, I'm a loser baby, so why don't you kill me? I'm sore from head to toe. I'm a loser baby, so why don't you kill me? Imagine, imagine a 10 year old kid singing that, an eight year old kid. Yeah. And then three to six months later, after he's been singing that and singing that and singing that, that's a negative talk, bro. It's a negative song. Mm. That song ain't from God. So imagine an eight or a ten year old rehearsing that off his mouth every day. And then one day he's depressed or he's got super bad anxiety or he wants to, to cut himself and, and kill himself. Right. That ain't by accident, bro. A kid did just wake up wanting to kill himself. He's opened a door through a just a random little song of death and life are in the power of the tongue. Like she just said, Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue. So if the enemy can use music, movies, or people to make you talk death, mission accomplished. He can just sit back. Mission accomplished. He ain't got to do much. He's just... Enjoying the day while you're not enjoying your day. That's where you stand up and you confront those thoughts. You confront it. I am not this diagnosis. Amen. I am not any of these negative things. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. And, and we do. We need to take an active role in what we feed ourselves through our eyes, our ears, our mouths. We need to take an active role in that. Garbage in, garbage out. You always. You yeah, and we're, and we're, we're, we're not perfect. No. We, we're, we're just now getting around to cleaning our movies up, cleaning our movies up, cleaning our songs up, cleaning our friends up, people we need to be around or not be around. I mean, it's, it's, it's a process. I'm not getting on it. We're not getting on here and be like, hey, man, we've got it all figured out. No. Mm -hmm. We need Jesus just like you guys. But we're telling you what works for us yes. and what's been working mm -hmm. and what the Lord is guiding us in. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is about. Proverbs twenty seven seventeen as iron sharpens iron, so as one sharpens another. And that's what we're all doing here. That's, that's right. what the body of Christ is for. That's is right. to lean on each other. We can't do this alone, bro. Mm -hmm. The devil would love nothing, Satan would love nothing more than you to be alone and isolated and trying to fight this by yourself. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. There's like when Elijah went to the to cave, he was only he only thought he was one. He only thought he was the last one. God's like, I got seven thousand more out there. I've got a God's always got a remnant, dude. That's right. So don't ever feel alone. If a church hurts you or something, get to another church. If a random friend or something might have hurt you, forgive them and move on. Dust mm -hmm. your feet. If you can, if you can patch it up, patch it up. If not, just dust your feet. Forgive them for your sake and move on. 
Yes. And, and, and live in positivity. Live in Christ. Have a Christ-like mind. A Christ-like heart. Because last time I checked, he was down here and he beat it all Amen. with Hallelujah. love. Beat it all with love and positive talk and uplifting. Anytime he seen the, the people on the highways and the byways and all the down and outers, he was up he was he was up in their game. Mm -hmm. Up in their game. Getting them out of the ditches, getting them out of the trenches, up in them, self talking, positive talk, mm -hmm. reminding them who Father God is and He loves you. He created you. Mm -hmm. So remember that. That's yeah, it's hard to love others like you love yourself when you you know, when you're not loving yourselves. So don't we have about a minute try to cut it down to 30 seconds when a thought creeps in before it seeps into your heart you'll notice when you're holding on to something and thinking of something for longer than 30 seconds and right then you just nope I'm not gonna think of this this is not what the Bible says Jesus I need your help to help renew my mind help me stop thinking this thought yeah. and do that every single time those those negative thoughts about yourself or diagnoses or or anything happens or before they sink in to your heart don't yeah. let those build strongholds because yeah. once the strongholds come in the devil doesn't even have to fight as much to come in and out of that of those strongholds he would love for us to react to one of our five senses any day of the week than to respond to the finished works of the cross every day yeah because if you were if you if you focus on the finished works of the cross Like right now, I can feel it. We are free. Free indeed. Thank you, Jesus. Focus on that. Focus on, focus on him coming out of that tomb. Focus on what he did on that cross. Focus on that. That's what we're in. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling any type of... If you can't feel that, if you can't see that, if you can't... If you, I do believe there is a heaven on earth and there's a hell on earth. I, for instance, and her, for instance, we, we feel heaven on earth right now. We have a slice of it in our hearts and our minds. It's like Holy Spirit dwelling inside of us and Christ dwelling inside of us. Yeah, there's still some stuff down here that ain't really meshing up to the way Father God wants his kingdom ran and stuff. And, and Jesus is still coming back to fix all that. But until then, we get to, we get to have weapons to get out of this type of stuff. And you do too. You don't right. have to stay in the negative light. Mm -hmm. Go to the positive, man. Go to the positive side. Go to the other side. Go to the light. Don't go to the dark. Go to the light. I love you guys. We love you guys. I'm going to let my wife um, pray us out real quick. And uh, thank you for watching. Yes. And as we pray out, if there's anyone of you watching that may not know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, and you would really like to give your life to Jesus, not add Jesus to your life, just I'll include you in this prayer as we pray out. Okay. Oh, Father God, thank you so much for this time. Thank you for everyone under the sound of my voice. Yes, Father. Just bless them, Father. Thank you for being a Father and a God who knows no time and no distance. Father, I'd like to include anyone who would like to have your son and recognize your son, Jesus Christ, as their personal Lord and Savior. I'd like to pray for them right now. Father, we know that we're sinners in need of a Savior. And Father, to the best of our ability, we know that Jesus Christ is your only begotten son, that he came to this earth, lived as a man, lived perfectly, and he took, took Calvary and died on that cross, was buried and resurrected three days later, and he is alive now, seated at your right hand in the seat of all power and authority, interceding on our behalf to you. Jesus, we thank you for being so brave and strong. We ask that you come into our lives. We ask that you send your Holy Spirit to live inside of us. Wash us clean from our sins, and we repent of our sins. They're not our friends. Thank you for that. We love you. We love you, God. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Holy Spirit. Yes. In Jesus Christ's name Jesus we pray. Christ name. Amen. Amen.
We love you guys. Y'all stay pushing out there. You know where we're at? Ladies, if you need any help, men. God loves you all like crazy. Amen and hallelujah. We love you guys. Stay up out there. Bye. Peace.